Kelly Grabby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. So I've been doing a little bit of shopping, just a little bit, and I wanted to share some of the stuff that I've been getting with y'all. It's not all from the same places. It's not all the same kind of items, but I feel like it's like summer essentials, like stuff that I was like, ooh, I need to get this before the summer comes, or ooh, I need to make sure I have these for when I'm going to the airport, or just like vacation stuff. Summer essentials is kind of what we're going with, and they vary from different stores. I have accessories, pants, shoes, all different kinds of things, so we're gonna get into it today. Of course, y'all already know um, links, descriptions, prices, or anything like that will be in the description box. Um, if there's anything specific you guys have questions on, feel free to ask, and Let's jump into it. Okay, so I kind of moved to the side so I can make sure like I do my try-ons and kind of show you everything close up over here. I'm gonna start with, I think I wanna start with clothes. So one of my first summer essentials is a really good pair of cargo pants. They don't have to be camo, but just like a nice loose fitting cargo pant. These particular ones are from Fashion Nova and they were a little pricier. I wanna say they were about 40, which you know, if you're shopping like fast fashion, isn't necessarily the cheapest. But I have been looking for cargo pants that A, go to my size, B, has a fit I want, and are the general style I want. So I really love these. Um, you'll see they have these adjustable straps on the waist so that you can still have it fitted around the waist and still have that loose style around the legs. Um, and I just love these because normally I am a like biker shorts girl in the summertime. I'm a throw on biker shorts girl. Like that's my go-to. But I really love the cargo style because it still feels relaxed. It feels really comfortable with a cute crop top or a cute bandeau. Like it's just a really cute style. So I feel like having a pair of cargos of any kind, like I said, camo, solid, it's just a go-to for the summer. It just looks good with sandals. It looks cute with heels. It looks cute with Jordans. Like it's just really cute. So love these. Next up, I'm just gonna stay like in the clothes for right now is this oversized graphic tee that I got from Shein. Um, the back just says good things take time. And I kind of wanted to showcase this because I don't know about y'all, but first of all, I love a good oversized graphic tee. Again, cause I like biker shorts, that's an easy, easy outfit. And I like to cut them sometimes or like tie them in the, like cut them in time in the middle. But I feel like for a little while, I was having the hardest time finding cute graphic tees on Shein or like the designs just weren't working or it was just not, what it needed to be. When I went more recently, when I bought this and some other stuff, they have so many new cute graphic tees. So I definitely recommend she in. They're really good, especially when you're like looking for certain colors or certain styles like that. It's really good to kind of narrow down on there. I look in their men's section a lot for the graphic tees, but this one is just super high quality. Like the cotton feels really soft and really nice. I really don't like to invest in my graphic tees when they're white specifically because for me, white is gonna have a couple wears and then she's out of here. So that is my graphic tee essential, like a go-to graphic tee I feel like is also a summer must. All right, next up, I'm just gonna show this one over here because it's just a black dress, but a summer essential is a maxi dress. You have to have a cute sundress season. You have to have a cute maxi dress. What I love about this maxi dress is from Shape LX. Um, I do have a code, Malibu88 and it has built-in shapewear. So I think if you are like me or a lot of people, a lot of times sundresses or maxi dresses are tricky because it's like, what bra can I wear? It's gonna be lumps and bumps, belly button is showing, all that kind of stuff. We want a little bit of movement, a little bit of freedom, but sometimes they're just not secure. This has built-in shapewear, so it's like snatching, smoothing out. I am obsessed with this dress. Like it has a little built-in bra to hold the girls up. It's long enough. And it gives that kind of fishtail, so you get like that hourglass shape to it. So I am obsessed with this maxi dress. So if you have not already seen on my Instagram, you are going to, so just forewarning. Okay, next, I am moving the shoes. So I feel like a versatile sandal is a super duper must, especially if you are traveling, if you are going on any kind of like vacation, Sometimes you can't pack every shoe you have or you need it to be able to go from the brunch to the day party to maybe the club to the after spot. These from Target are my absolute favorite. They actually, Steve Madden has a braided heel like this um, that I recommend for people for like weddings a lot. But this is like the sandal version and they're super comfortable. 
They were about 32 bucks, I believe, true to size, but these are just a really good go-to salmon that kind of match everything. So you don't have to worry about like, if I pack these, I pretty much know I can probably wear them with everything. And they're a little sparkly, so a go-to sandal is a must. Now another go-to shoe, I was torn honestly between these and my Birkenstocks because if you know, I'm a Birkenstocks girl, but my new buy, like something that was truly new, Crocs. So I got these Crocs, um, had to get pink, you know, I'm in my pink era. And I got these, I think they're the mega, like they have this platform heel. Because I was like, at the very least, I needed to have a little bit of heel. Um, the Balenciaga ones that were out a few years ago that are like super platform, I wear a size 10, 10 and a half. That's just a lot of foot, so I was avoiding those. And I honestly have just avoided Crocs forever. I love a good, ugly, comfortable shoe. I love a Birkenstock, I love a Ugg. And for some reason, I don't know, I just never got into Crocs, but I put my sisters on and they were so comfortable that it sold me. Um, she got me a bunch of these little gibbets off of Shein. So they have them on Shein, um, super affordable prices. She even got me a Birkenstock one because that's how serious I am. Um, so these are super comfortable and I definitely think about travel, like airport, and I feel like getting the bright colors or a little bit of the platform. Honestly, I've kind of worn them, like I get more compliments on them than I ever expect. And I've also seen people kind of like dress them up and make them cute, especially with back to your essentials, the cargo pants. So I would say the essential is a like comfy travel shoe, whether that is your Birkenstock, whether that is your, what are they called? The Hakas, the, all those different kind of like just comfort shoes. But I think this is a good like airport travel comfort shoe. So. Definitely for her. Next, I'm gonna get into another shoe. Now, I saw a meme that was like, throw away all your um, clear shoes, and no, I'm not going to. Next up is these heels from Fashion Nova. I literally had these in a haul over a year ago. Those shoes died on me, and I bought a new pair. They are so comfortable. When I tell y'all, when I, I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta wear my sneakers, or wear heels, I'll put my sneakers on, those are the heels. Like, I can run in those, they are so comfortable, they are true to size. The price hasn't gone up since last time I bought them years ago. I like those, I have like some strappy shoes, some barely there nude shoes and things like that, but I do like those because once again, like the sandals, if I go on vacation or if I'm traveling and I need to pack a little bit lighter, or I don't know about y'all, but I like to keep a little, in the summertime especially, a little switcheroo in the car, I know that shoe is gonna go with everything. So if I have those heels in my car and we go to brunch and then it turns into day party, I know I can put those on and now I have a shoe, a shoe that matches my outfit. So a go-to heel, a versatile heel, is the other shoe that I feel like you have to have. Next up, I don't really need like the side screen for these, but next up is a statement pair of sunglasses. These are from Amazon. These are a Lueve dupe. I'm sure you've seen these glasses. Um, they kind of have that like bubble effect to them. I got this different, this little more of a semi cat eye because I always do square um, and I always do like the big rectangular shape. So I want to do something a little different, but these are, like I said, an Amazon dupe. So they are a fraction of the price. They are a trendy statement item, which again, I'm not huge on investing big money into seasonal or trendy or something I won't wear all the time. So these are a great option. They have the different colors as well as different shapes. There's also similar on Shein as well. I just got mine personally off Amazon and I love. I don't know if it's cause she has like kind of compliments the hair or what it is, but you throw this on with some simple pieces and it's like, it's a little bit of a look immediately. So a statement pair of glasses is a must. Y'all know I love a good pair of glasses. So this is right up my alley. Next up, I actually need to grab my gloss, but next up, you gotta find your nude lip for the sleep. Like, I feel like a nude lip, especially in the summertime if you're giving like fresh face, lash, and a lip, I feel like you have to find your nude lip combo. So for me personally, anybody, if you know, you know. The NYX Butter Glosses are amazing in almost all the shades. This one is in um, Caramel. So you can see it's just this, really brown, nudie color, which again, I almost hate saying, I say find your nude lip because your nude's not my nude. My friend's nude's not my nude. Like everybody's nude is different, so I try to say your nude, like find what works for you. My go-to of life always is going to be Chestnut. When I tell you I have tried to find other brands just because I was like, let me try this brand, this brand higher, lower. Chestnut is that girl and I will no longer stray. 
So that with the chestnut liner and then the lip, because for me, MAC is always gonna be the girl when it comes to lip, is Honey Love Matte Lipstick from MAC. So she looks pinker on than she really is on. It's a little bit of a like nudie, slight pink. I also have like Velvet Teddy, Naturally Transformed. Velvet Teddy is pinker, Naturally Transformed is um, more tan and muted. So Honey Love is perfectly right in the middle. Yeah, a, a nude lip is an absolute must. If you don't have anything else on, but you have a good pair of sunglasses on and a good nude lip, I feel like that transformed the look. And last but not least, statement jewelry. So for me, the jewelry I'm showing you guys is from Shein, but it, they literally come like this. And it is, I don't even know how many rings came in this. So many rings. They do the same with uh, anklets. I have anklets in here as well as bangles. But like, I feel like even if you put on a white tank, some jeans, and you have like a lot of hand jewelry or you do stackable um, bracelets or like some different ankle, anklet combinations, it just looks super cute, super fresh. I feel like just having good go-to jewelry is a must. And honestly, I put on simple outfits and when I put on all the rings, it just automatically feels a lot more elevated and put together. So I feel like getting your good jewelry, I would even put like having a good hoop, a good hoop earring, which again, you can get from Shein. Um, I have bought stuff from, you know, the Charm and Charlie's and the Beauty Supply, but I was really surprised by the amount of jewelry you got from Shein for so cheap. So if you have looked on Shein and thought about the jewelry, I'm here to tell you it was worth it and I have no regret and nothing's turned, you know, funky on my skin. If you have sensitive skin, obviously that might not be for you, but it has worked really well for me. All right, y'all, so that does it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love doing hauls and I'm always be shopping just a little bit. So I just wanted to figure out the best way to kind of show you guys all the stuff that I bought. Hopefully you enjoyed this haul and I will see you in the next video.